Well, my dear students, the course is Labor Policy Pakistan and the topic is Policy Objectives of Labor Policy KPK. My dear students, the government of KPK is fully obliged to fulfill its constitutional responsibilities and responsibilities as regards the international commitments made by Pakistan from time to time. For example, commitments as regards SDGs, ILS, GSP+, Decent Work Country Program, DWCP, etc. And resolves and the government resolves to commit following objectives through this policy. Aye, kya objectives hain? Wo discuss karte hain one by one. First objective is to ensure decent working conditions for all work workers, irrespective of nature of work, in line with basic international labor standards on working conditions, working hours, health and safety, rest, holidays and wages, my dear students. The second objective of the policy is that the KPK will work in collaboration with ILO, international partners, the federal government, and employers and workers organizations to address gradually all forms of precarious employment and eradicate child labor and forced labor in the province. The third objective of the KPK labor policy is that the policy will address all types of discriminations in remuneration and employment resulting on the basis of race, sex, color, religion, political opinion, national extraction or social origin. The fourth objective of the labor policy is that to work for social protection and labor welfare for all. My dear students, the fifth objective of the labor policy is to undertake special measures for effective enforcement of labor laws in the formal sector and make efforts to extend coverage of these laws to the workers employed in informal sector. Dear students, you would be enlightened to know that the sixth objective of the labor policy KPK is employment promotion and facilitation for youth through TAVET, career counseling, job placement and through development of labor market information and analysis system. Dear students, the seventh objective of the KPK labor policy is skill development in demand driven trades in the local, national, and international market and facilitating immigration of skilled labor force with the support and in class close collaboration with the federal government. My dear students, you would be enlightened to know that. The labor policy of KPK is focused that minimum wages board in terms of resource allocation and technical capacity with the objectives to improve labor administration and governors will be established and done in the province very soon. My dear students, hope you have understood the objectives of the labor policy of KPK. Thank you very much indeed.